A logic puzzle is, is just really something that's designed to test your ability uh, to think clearly. Uh, so usually you're asked to match up sets of things. So for this problem, uh, as an example, we're being asked to match up the first name. Uh, we have, well, we have four men who each own a pet. We're being asked to match up the man's first name with their last name and what kind of pet they own. So we want to know, for example, um, here we have all of our first names. Name. Here we have our last names. And you'll notice that in two places on this crosshatch table, we have the pet, the kind of pet that, they, that, they, uh, that each person has. So our goal here is to match up which first name goes with which last name and which pet. So for example, is it Dwayne Gunter that owns the llama or, or whatever. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump into how we use this tool to organize our thoughts. So we have these seven clues down the left-hand side, um, and we have the initial explanation. We should make sure that we read that to make sure that we understand what we're being asked to do. Uh, each of four men owns a different species of exotic pet. From the clues, can you figure out uh, each man's full name and what kind of pet he owns? Uh, so the first clue says, Mr. Angles, whose pet is named Sparky, there should be a closing parenthesis there, uh, Abner, and Mr. Foster all belong to a club for owners of unusual pets. Uh, so this clue actually tells us a few things. The first thing it tells us is that Mr. Engel's pet is named Sparky. That doesn't actually really help us a whole lot because none of our information over here is about the name of the pet. So who cares what Mr. Engel's pet is named? Uh, what they do tell us though is that Mr. Engel's, uh, the person whose first name is Abner, and Mr. Foster all belong to the same club. What that tells us is that these are three different people. Mr. Angles is a different person from the person whose first name is Abner, uh, and those people are also not the same person as Mr. Foster. What that means is that Mr. Angles cannot have the first name Abner. The way we're going to represent that on the puzzle is to put an X here at the intersection of Mr. Engels and Abner. That X is representing no, this is not a connection that we have. Uh, we can do the same thing now for Mr. Foster and, and Abner. They tell us that Mr. Foster is not Abner because Mr. Foster and Abner are in the same club. Uh, there's nothing for us to mark about the fact that Mr. Engels and Mr. Foster aren't the, the same person because we knew they weren't the same person, they are two different last names. So that's what we have from that first clue. Let's go ahead and look at the second clue. The iguana isn't owned by either Chuck or Dwayne. Again, a really straightforward clue. Here we have our information about iguanas. We have it actually here and here. But here's the lines where we have information about Chuck and Dwayne. Oh, look at that. I spelled Dwayne two different ways. I'll change that later. Uh, so what we know, though, is that the iguana does not belong to Chuck, and the iguana does not belong to Dwayne. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next clue. Neither the jackal nor the king cobra is owned by Mr. Foster. So, so far we have, we have pretty basic clues. They tell us the jackal is not Mr. Foster. We're not going to find that information here, but if we come down here, we can find that the jackal and Mr. Foster, so here's Mr. Foster, here's the jackal, and here's the king cobra, neither of those can belong to Mr. Foster. All right. The llama doesn't belong to Dwayne, whose pet is named Waggles. So what we can do here is we can say, okay, well, the llama doesn't belong to Dwayne. Right? The llama, um, just did that one, Abner, who doesn't own the king cobra, isn't Mr. Gunter. So we know Abner doesn't own the King Cobra and Abner is not Mr. Gunter. Now here's where we have an important sort of step in our process. We can see here that Abner can't be Mr. Engels, Mr. Foster, or Mr. Gunter, which means Abner must be Mr. Halavy. So what we'll do with this is we'll say, okay, to say that Abner is Mr. Halavy, we'll put a circle there. 
sort of meaning yes, yay. All right, so Abner's not Mr. Halavi. Now we can do more information, or we can do a lot more with just that piece of information too. Because Abner is Mr. Halavi, Bruce must not be Mr. Halavi. Same thing goes for Chuck and Dwayne. So we can put X's all down inside that little uh, space for Mr. Halavi can't be Bruce, can't be Chuck, and can't be Dwayne because Mr. Halavi has to be Abner. Similarly, and here's where it's going to get a little bit weird, we know that Abner doesn't own the King Cobra. Because Abner is Mr. Halavi, that means Mr. Halavi can't own the King Cobra. We can make that mark down Mr. Halavi's line by putting an X on the King Cobra spot. All right, so that was a little confusing, right? We've got Abner is Mr. Halavi. Abner does not own the King Cobra, which means Mr. Halavi, who is Amber, Abner, uh, doesn't own the King Cobra. Whew. Okay. Next. Bruce and Mr. Foster are neighbors. Well, uh, that tells us that Bruce is not Mr. Foster. So we can say Bruce is no Mr. Foster. All right. Can't really get that much else out of that. So that one's boring at that point. Mr. Halavi is afraid of iguanas. Okay, they don't really tell us that that means that Mr. Halavi doesn't own an iguana. Uh, but we'll go ahead and assume that that's what they mean by that. So we can say Halavi does not own an iguana. And again, because Mr. Halavi is Abner, it means Abner doesn't own an iguana. And that's a big deal for us because now we can see that there's only one first name left that could own the iguana. And that person is Bruce. So Bruce must own the iguana. We'll put the, go ahead, we'll put the circle there, meaning yay, yes. Uh, since Bruce does own the iguana, uh, Bruce does not own the jackal or the king cobra or the llama. All right, now we can, get, we can actually get more information of just this. Because Bruce owns the iguana and Bruce is not Mr. Foster, Mr. Foster can't own the iguana. Right, so Bruce is the iguana. Bruce is not Mr. Foster. Since Mr. Foster can't be Bruce, Mr. Foster can't own the iguana, which, and you probably all see it right now, means that there's only one thing left that Mr. Foster can own. Mr. Foster must own the llama. So we can say, yay, yes, Mr. Foster is the llama. And what that means is that Angles, Gun Gunter, and Halaby, all those last names, can't own the llama. So you can't own the llama, you can't own the llama, you can't own the llama. And that tells us that Mr. Halavi must own the jackal because there are no animals left for him to own. So he has the jackal, which means that no one else can have the jackal. So Mr. Gunter can't have the jackal, Mr. Ingalls can't have the jackal. Whew! Catch your breath, right? Now we know that since Mr. Halavi owns the jackal and Mr. Halavi is Abner, Abner must obviously own the jackal. So we can say, Abner, you own a jackal, which means you don't own a llama. And also, no one else owns the jackal. So Chuck doesn't own the jackal, and neither does Duane. All right, now that actually kind of fills in the rest for us here because only one person left to own the llama. And there's only one person, or there's only one animal left for Dwayne to own. So Chuck must own the llama, Dwayne must own the King Cobra. And now we know all of the first names connections to pets. Now we just need to make sure that we can link the people up with their last names. So here's a fun fact. Mr. Foster owns the llama. Chuck owns the llama. There's only one llama, of course. So Chuck must be Mr. Foster because those are the people who own, or that is the person who owns the llama. So you must be, uh, so Chuck must be Mr. Foster, which means Dwayne can't be Mr. Foster, Mr. Engel can't be Chuck, uh, and Chuck cannot be Gunter. Whew. Okay, uh, I'm feeling a little bit stuck right now. Uh, so here's what we're going to do to get unstuck. Uh, I said that there was something that wasn't uh, an important clue. In fact, I crossed it out, and I realized later that, uh-oh, it does actually tell us something. Because up here, they tell us that Mr. Engels, uh, 
has a pet named Sparky. Down here they tell us that Dwayne has a pet named Waggles. Well, if Mr. Angles and Mr. Dwayne have different named pets, then they can't be the same person. So that means that Mr. Angles cannot be Dwayne. And that's going to be the thing that helps us fill in the rest of our puzzle. Because that means there's only one person left for Mr. Angles to be. It must be Bruce Angles. And it must be Dwayne Gunter. And we know that Dwayne owns the King Cobra. So that means Mr. Gunter, Dwayne Gunter, must own the King Cobra. And that means that Bruce Ingalls must own the Iguana. So now that we have this all filled in, this is actually holding all of this information for us. It's telling us that Abner, Halavi owns the Jackal. Abner. I'm good with all my letters. It tells us that Bruce is Mr. Angles. So Bruce Angles, I can spell that, Angles owns the, what does Bruce own? Bruce Angles owns the iguana. Iguana. Uh, it also tells us that Chuck Foster must own the llama. Chuck Foster owns the llama. And lastly, we can zoom out just a touch so I have space to write some stuff. We can say that Dwayne Gunter owns the King Cobra. So we're going to spell it in the way it is in the clue. Dwayne Gunter owns the, what did I say, King Cobra? King